Shut him down. Uh, you're not shutting me down, Kang. I'm here to stay. I underestimated you. One chance in life to do whatever you're gonna do, to lay your foundation, to make whatever mark you're gonna make, whatever legacy you're gonna leave, leave your legacy. People do not understand that the Old Testament is written in code. I'm talking about actual code as in, uh, you know, uh, high-level physics. Stories about reflections, light waves, uh, atomic weights, dates, uh, what else? Vibrations, mathematical codes that are what that thing up in the sky creates. You know, I don't want to offend anybody's religious beliefs. I still believe in Jesus Christ. It doesn't change my mind one bit. But there's a lot of science involved in that book. But it's a good moralistic book. It does represent the, the Son of God, my Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, aside from that, it, there's a whole, it's a great moralistic book. You know, but it's, but it's, it's encoded messages. It's bigger than you think. There's more code in that book than you think there is. <laughs> It's all showing you something very real, very hardcore, very serious about um, the way everything works as a whole.
So, you know, people that are just tuning in are saying, I don't know, this seems a little out there. Well, it would be if, you, if you're coming into advanced trigonometry from sixth grade, it wouldn't make any sense to you. Those of you that have hung around understand it. But for somebody that's just looking at this now, this is going to make absolutely no sense. Because you have to be eased into this kind of knowledge. You can't just be thrown into it because it'll bust your head wide open. Once you see it, it's very, very clear that there's really something going on. And it's not hidden, that's the thing. It's right in front of your face for you to find out the truth, but nobody wants to know the truth. A very few want to know. A very few want to know. So what, is, what do they do? They go and make movies like The Wizard of Oz. And everybody goes, ooh, that was a good movie. That's a good children's movie. That ain't a good children's movie. That's a motherfucking occultic movie if there ever was one. Star Wars is another one. To them, it's entertainment because that's all they're ever going to know. Because that's all they ever want to know. They don't want to dig. All they want to know is, did the Chicago Bears win or did the Bulls win? What, what, what kind of mentality is that? If you really want to know about something, you, know, you study the origin of it. You get to the bottom of it, you get to the roots. You start seeing things that you didn't recognize before. Like, oh wow, this is, this is kind of deep, son. This is some other shit. It's not what you thought it was. They were called the Phoenicians, and by the time they founded Carthage, they had already made their mark on world history. It's no accident, for instance, that words like phone and phonetics sound a lot like the word Phoenician. That's because the Phoenicians were one of the first to develop the spoken word into an actual written language. 
In fact, they were among the first to form sounds into written characters, creating an alphabet. Remnants of the Phoenician alphabet have survived even today in the language of one of the smallest countries in the world, the island of Malta. Not a bad shelf life for a language over 3,000 years old. But just who were these Phoenicians? The Bible refers to them as the Canaanites.
and this is my all-time favorite. I just love how they take Jesus and they crucify him with three fingers out. Isn't that real nice of them? I mean, they couldn't stop with the story where when they were humiliating him of putting a purple robe on him. No, they had to, they have to go and make it with the three fingers showing. You see, isn't it how wonderful this is? Now, why are you seeing all of this stuff in the Christian church? Because there's no such thing. It's Masonic. The Masons build every church, every, every temple, every mosque on the planet. All of them shitty ass songs resonate at a certain frequency within the building that they're built because they create things and they bring things up and they make things happen within a certain space. A lot of science involved in there, more than you would know.
השמיים מספרים כבוד אלה, ומעשה ידם מגיד הרגיע. It's really easy once you start going down these paths of um, seeking out where things went wrong, trying to understand what happened to us. It's real easy to get caught up in um, different areas because that's what we that's what we do as people. I mean, notice anything, you know. Let's say you get really into anything, no matter what it is, you know, whatever your interest is, you're going to see that all over the place, right? Instead of understanding and you know, taking the belief systems out of it. I'm walking that middle path, which is the Christ, or is the path that Christ showed us to walk. If anybody cares to pay attention to that. So many people don't. You're just so stuck on left and right, which is the whole purpose of the Old Testament and New Testament anyway. It's bigger than you think. There's more code in that book than you think there is. <laughs> it's all showing you something very real, very hardcore, very serious about um, the way everything works as a whole. And once you start to see, you start to see it very clearly. But walking that middle path you start to to realize that and and see very easily how everything um is so messed up by these the whole world is messed up by these you see and we have a pupil in the middle right because we're the student but the eye is the student learning but you have nothing if you don't have the light within yourself to interpret what you see on the outside. You're always going to be stuck on the black and white. See, we were broken a long time ago. We were broken a long time ago. That broken bell, that broken liberty bell. There has indeed been a war in heaven and therefore a war on us. A war within us, a war on the outside of us. But we don't make peace anywhere in the world until we have that peace within us. That's why it's the goal, it needs to be the goal of all of us to have that peace within you, to understand that you're never gonna find that outside of yourself. You can look and look and look and you won't, and you won't and you won't. That's why waking up is the scariest thing to do, because you have to go inside of yourself <clears throat> and see how dark it really is in there. It's nothing but darkness. That is what the sunglasses represent. When you see that, call it the Illuminati, call it what you will, but it's a symbolism that they can see, and you can't. And so they wear the sunglasses to show you they're not looking out to the outward light, they're looking inside. They're looking inside to see the dark side of the moon, where they control everything by. But see, you're wrong to always think that everything is black and white. Only those that wish to control you want you to see everything as black and white. Black and white is being on one side or the other. That's being black or white. Looking at the flip of the poles and how that affects us is the dark and the light. The dark and the light. Always being on the side of religion or science. Religion or science. I'm not saying that the path goes down the middle. The path of faith. Which is something that I believe in fully and completely and totally and entirely. Because me, myself, I do know. I do remember a time before this world and I know that there's definitely going to be a time after this world. That's just something I know with all my heart and all my soul. 
that I know that we've been divided as humanity, that we are humankind, that we were divided as man and woman, and it was never supposed to be that way. That we've been fractalized just like the world's been fractalized. You know? Old heaven and earth, there's to be a new heaven and a new earth. Why, do you think that has something to do with your eyes? No way. Something very real that's going to happen. Something very real that's gonna happen. And to understand that is to understand what has happened, you know? You can't understand any of that if you're still on that black and white path of seeing things as um, purely good and purely evil. Any with spirit know how to govern themselves, know how to govern from that middle path. You know? Like I've said in, in so many of my past videos, and I'll keep saying, it's, uh, it's about that we don't need anybody once we're at that point to teach us law. Why? Because we have that inside of us. Watch a little child, you know? That hasn't been screwed up already by somebody that was screwed up before them, because that's all it is. You know, a world that doesn't know how to love, doesn't know how to love, because if we know how to love, we're giving that child that one thing that they need, and therefore they will always govern by it. I screw up all day long, we mess up all the time, doesn't mean we turn back around and try to make things right. I, why do I follow Jesus Christ? Because Jesus Christ did the right thing. He came here to help set us free. He came here as a servant. Okay? He came here as a servant to help serve the people, knowing that this world is under control by something that we don't understand or haven't understood. Absolutely, there's been a dem demonic and evil presence. You don't look back through history and look what's happened with Hitler. You don't look down at what happened uh, with the Aztec Empire. You don't look at these things and think that, oh, that, that's a good, that's good God right there, doing the right thing for people. Frick no! Of course, there's been, there's been massive genocide, massive war, massive evil on a massive scale. But what I'm against right now, here especially, is the nonsense. It's like people are fighting each other. People are fighting, fighting the ones. Fighting the ones that are trying to, trying to keep the freaking love in the world. As everybody runs around, you know, love blah 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 as you just dropping f-bombs and being as nasty as you can be out there don't think that i can't be a bitch and i can't get pissed off because you're damn right i can't when it's time to fight and it's time to freaking throw down for what's right in the world you will see me on the front lines for that okay but for as it stands right now i i when i got here i didn't understand it i would see all this nonsense arguing and fighting it's like what are you guys doing are you in freaking first grade i mean really it's like dude grow up you know Know the power that's in you, that's been tapped, that's been stolen, that's been taken from you. You are, you freaking have God in you. You see what I'm saying? That's, tried to, that's, that's what's been tried to be taken from you. That's what Jesus Christ tried to give back to you. That's what he walked. Now everybody wants to walk around saying that Jesus Christ uh, it was for death. Absolutely not. Be able to divide the scripture. There are more than one God in that Bible. Okay? Now, let's throw that out entirely and let's just go based on what Cece believes, okay? And this isn't for you necessarily at all. I don't want you to take what I believe and digest it and take it as your own. Believe your own thing. Walk in your own way. I'm here to support that and rise that up in you and say you have the spirit in you and so therefore if you do, right? Does that, that, therefore we don't just uh, act like pieces of crap. Come here to make sacrifices of ourselves, not to give to those that are trying to tear the world down, that want genocide. Okay? That want only the wealthy and the rich to have it. To think we're all peons down here and nobody's do you know what i'm just going through right now in my own life see that's the thing it's like i think people look at it like oh what does she know you know 
It's like, dude, I have freaking gone through hell in my life. Like, real hell. I'm not saying that none of you haven't either. Because in my opinion, I think everybody has walked through their fair share of hell in this realm, in this life. I don't know why. But I know that there's very important divine lessons to be learned in this realm, in this world. And there's something real to be said about rising up out of it and being released from slavery. Why is it the narrow way? Because it's in you and it's the way out. It's not being judgmental. It's not, you know, it's discerning. But you're not going around pointing at everybody trying to drag the world down because that's the control that they have on you right now that you don't see. See, that's something I see clear as day that goes on all the time, is how people are being used to fight each other. While they laugh. Oh, look at them. Look at the idiots. Look at the idiots. Look at the idiots. And we're just playing them like, we're just playing them like little remote controls, you know? Yeah, I can show you right in the design of everything, how this is where it's all at. You push a movie, push play. That's you. Play. Play. I'm playing you. How do you not get played? It's by knowing you're better than that. So what what buttons to push to get your bell to ding? You know? Pavlov's dog. I'm better than that. I had to fight it freaking hard. Name something. Name a uh, name a sin. Name a name a fail. Name it. And I will say, I have probably done it and had to crawl out of it. And I got myself to such a point of life being so broken down on me, so beaten down on me, so freaking broken, you guys. You know? I had demons freaking barking down my door. Nightmares every night, crawling out of it. You get yourself to a point like that? Most people? And I'll tell you what. You will call out to God, and the real God will show up. Not the one that's tried to keep you under his thumb in this world. The one that loves you and loves everybody and does not play such games, okay? The one that believes in humankind, that believes in the spirit that's within you. I almost died many times, okay? But in the end, it was full death. It was full on, that's it. Done. Yeah. Taking everything from me, killed my family off, killed my boyfriend off, what will frickin' more? To the point my own spirit rose up and said, that's, that's it, that's it, that's enough. And I'm not gonna stop till the day that I'm out of here, letting other people know that that's within you, with, that's what's inside you. And you don't let this world take that from you and beat that out of you. Get it? It is a war. It is a war. You're damn right it is. And good is going to overcome it. And I don't care if I die in the process of that because I live on. My spirit lives on. They can't steal that from you and they can't steal that from me unless you let them, unless you give it away. Okay? And even then, the most broken of the broken. You think God doesn't cradle them? Of course he does. So I'm disgusted and I'm tired of people fighting on here for things that they shouldn't be fighting and people that have been broken and have been broken down and have been hurt by this mother effing world. You know, especially the ones that have been through that and are here to try to help you and to try to tell you and give you a good message of hope. Of hope in the real God. In the real God. The freaking alien intelligence that tries to control you, not the freaking. Not the fake gods. The real God of all that will be coming, that always comes for those, you know, that have had enough. That have had enough. And I think we've all had enough.
we know, or at least I do, and other people around me, that uh, the Bible's there for a reason. Um, has it been tampered with? Yes, in some ways. Has it been changed? Yes and no. Um, when I say yes and no, you got to understand uh, the manuscript that the King James Version was um, translated from is totally different than the manuscript that 95% of the other Bibles were manuscript uh, translated from. I think the uh, Texas Receptus is the King James Version, and then the other versions, which were uh, translated by Westcott and Hort, with the Alexandrian text. Um, you could spend weeks researching that, um, and I would recommend you do it just for your own benefit. Now, am I saying that if you read a Bible that's an NIV, well, that's a bad example, um, New American Standard, whatever you want to call them, are they bad Bibles? No. You can get the same thing out of any Bible for the most part. And you can find the truth. See, the truth is there. And the ones that seek will find it, regardless of where it's at. See, uh, Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is within. It's not out here. It's not in, in my sight. It's not anywhere. It's inside. We have God inside of us. We have the ability to... know the truth. But the truth isn't just given to us because we want it. it. It's brought to us through humility, service to others, and like I said, seeking you will find. Once you understand certain concepts about what Jesus taught, what the Bible teaches, and, and you can get all kinds of different stuff out of the Bible. Um, it depends on where your heart's at when you're reading it. Um, you know what I mean? If you don't want to learn anything from the Bible, and you don't want to figure out stuff, you're not going to. Um, there's lots of hating on the Bible. Sorry, I'm driving here. And it's raining. But back to what I was saying about different manuscripts. Um going back to even before then before those manuscripts there was Sumerian texts and uh, a lot of the some of the stories in the Bible are Sumerian stories from the Sumerian gods a lot of the Old Testament um, gods you see in there are the Sumerian gods not the actual father now this is my opinion. I'm not going to judge you if you go to church and you uh, sing song. I was in a church one time and they were singing a song to Yahweh, and I about fell over because I'm like, I'm not singing to Yahweh. I know the difference between the Father and the Yahweh, and Yahweh is not the Father. But anyway, I'm all over the place here. Um, those stories were mixed in. There are different versions and different gods in the Old Testament. Um, I think there's verses in there talking about smashing children against, you know, they'll use it. But my point is, the Bible's gonna be used against us and it's already starting. Um, because it can so be so widely interpreted. Me, myself, I stand firm on the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I stand firm on the whole Bible because it's there for a purpose. Because I believe the Father to be, to be omnipotent. It means everything happens for a reason and a purpose. 
and his time. I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He came to the Jews because the Jews were the chosen race of that time. Were they the chosen of the Father? Or were they the chosen of the Hebrew God? And that's a question you'll have to answer. I'm not going to get into that. Psalm 82. Look it up. And uh, just read that one. And that tells you about these gods from the Old Testament that uh, were the judges. And... Uh, talks about the foundations of the earth are out of whack. <clears throat> David was praying to the Father because the judges, the gods, they had fallen. They weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing when they originally were sent here. The whole system is a failure. We are part of a failed system. I'm trying to show people that the Bible, even though it has problems, the truth is there. You just have to find it. And you have to use the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth is not just your spirit. It's a him. It's part of the triune God. Now, like I said, there's, there's been a lot of attacks in the Bible, and there's going to be more. But, if you want to know the truth about the Bible, shut everything off. Don't look for opinions from churches. Don't look for opinions from Bible haters. Do some research yourself. It's been about a, a month. And you may grasp the beginnings of the truth then. I just know there's, a, there's not a greater feeling in the, in the world than when the Spirit of Truth brings you the truth, and you know it, because you feel it, and it's an unexplainable feeling. Read the words of Jesus, read the red letter, and just meditate on that. You have to be humble. If you're sitting there thinking this is a load of crap, then that's what it's going to be to you. A load of crap. Ask for the truth and see what happens.
Only those that wish to control you want you to see everything as black and white. Black and white is being on one side or the other. That's being black or white. So what I'm saying, actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of both. I mean, here it is, the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony. Not, if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. I'm walking that middle path, which is the Christ, or is the path that Christ showed us to walk. You can't understand any of that if you're still on that black and white path of seeing things as um, purely good and purely evil. To me, okay, to me, ultimately martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now it is very difficult to do. I mean, it, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky yeah. and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then yeah. feel like pretty cool and all that. Or I can f make all kinds of phony things, you see what I mean? Blinded by it. Or I can show you some f really fancy movement. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly, you know, that, my friend, is very hard to do and you have to train. I can't explain why I shine and no one else shines. I think everybody shines in different things. And a lot of things I can't do. I can't play basketball like every other black person in America. But I can act. I, I know how to go to that true spot in myself because I'm there every day. I can be me. I can be whoever because I'm true to me. I can go to neutral easily. A lot of people, black, white, Mexican, young or old, fat or skinny, have a problem being true to themselves. They have a problem looking in the mirror and looking directly into their own souls. The reason I sell six million records, the reason I can go to jail and come out without a scratch, the reason I can walk around, the reason I am who I am today is because I can look directly into my face and find my soul. It's there. It's not sold. I didn't sell it. It's still within me. I still feel it. My heart is still connected to my body. So I, I could, any character I'm going to bring that intensity, that truth, that honesty to it because I have to repay for, for that blessing from black Jesus, from God. I have to pay for that by shining. If he give you the, the voltage and you waste it, that's the curse. He gave me the voltage, I'm a shine. It's not mine, it's from God, it's God. Not that it's so special that nobody got it, but all of our gifts and blessings and, and our strengths and our weaknesses come from God come from black Jesus or whoever comes from within you, you know what I mean? So, it's not really tricky. It's, everybody can do it if they just can go to that spot. I guess all the things that happened to me in my life allow me to go there easily. When I look around, I always learn something, and that is to be always yourself and to express yourself, to have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate him. Now, that seems to me that that is the prevalent thing happening in Hong Kong. Like they always copy mannerism, but they never start from the very root of his being, and that is, how can I be me? Every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther, you know? Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. You know what I'm saying? Every time I speak, I want to shiver. You know, I don't want them to be like, they know what I'm going to say because it's polite. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world. But I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job, is to spark somebody else watching us.